Josh Schreiber here for the Early Bird Pod. Today, special guest is Will Taylor. Will, how you doing? Doing great. Doing great. Good. Uh, so, just getting right into it, how has your experience been overall on the Cape? Yeah, it's been it's been awesome. Um, you know, coming from South Carolina, um, where where I live down there, I didn't really know what to expect. I've never been to the Cape. Uh, I've been to Boston a couple times, played Boston College, but didn't really know what to expect when coming here and playing. But it's yeah. been it's been a joy and it's been great playing every day. Yeah, and then last year you played in the Appalachian League. Uh, what have been, I guess, some of the differences, similarities between the two leagues here on the Cape? Yeah, um, probably just the competition, just a little bit better. I mean, um, just these are the dudes up here, and um, you know, this is this is the place to be in summer ball. And uh, had a great time playing in both leagues, but this is uh, this is special up here. Yeah, and. Has it always kind of been a, a goal of yours to get to the Cape League, or is it something you found out kind of later on, or how did that come about? Yeah, I, I'd always heard about it. Uh, you know, didn't really know what what it was all about, but yep. um, you know, I was told I was coming here about six months a year ago, and yep. I was excited. And um, you know, it's been a great two months. Yeah, and then I guess getting into how your season has gone so far, you've been incredible getting on base, taking a lot of hit by pitches, and Hit by pitches have been something that you guys have been extremely good at this year. Is that the approach that you guys take? Is it a little bit of luck, a little bit of both? How does that, how does that come about? Uh, yeah, it's just something that's drilled in my head is, uh, you know, just get on base and be an on-base machine. And anytime you get on base for with with one pitch, then do it. And um, you know, it it helps the team win and helps the team thrive. And um, you know, base runners is key. It's the name of the game. So absolutely. And then. Going back to high school for you, you were one of the top prospects in the MLB draft. Decided, you know, I'm going to go to Clemson, pursue baseball and football for you. But describe that what that decision was like. And after you did end up getting drafted in the 19th round with, you know, the teams knowing that you were likely going to go to college, what was that process like and what was the draft process like for you? Yeah, it was, uh, it was very exciting. I uh, had a great senior year and through that whole summer just taking some um, trips to different ballparks and different teams and um, you know just experiencing those experiences that you know I didn't know existed and um, you know big league ball is the ultimate goal and um, you know it was fun and, and the reason I chose to go to college is um, you know for the whole college experience play both sports football and baseball um, and I wouldn't trade it for the world it's been special it's been an honor um, so it's been, it's been everything. It's been, it's been a lot to me. Just meeting people and and really just enjoying the experiences that I've had there. Um, it's been special. Yeah. And then, so when you got drafted in the 19th round, how did you, like, where were you? Where? How did you find out? How did that go down? Yeah, I was actually uh, just finished my football workout that morning. I was eating breakfast and I got a text um, from. And my advisor and um, said that the Rangers take, took you in the 19th round, and yeah. it was kind of like I was sitting with all my friends. It was kind of um, just kind of a cool moment to be selected, and yeah. um, you know, hopefully it'll happen again. Yeah, yeah, definitely coming up soon. But you played, as you mentioned, played football and baseball at Clemson. Recently decided that you're just going to focus on baseball. How did that, I guess, decision come to be? Where, what was your mindset there? Yeah, well, I mean, football is a big reason why I chose to go to college. Yeah. And, um, you know, I love football. Um, it's been a great two years at Columbus for me. I uh, wouldn't trade it for the world, but um, sooner or later I was going to have to pick one. Yeah. And um, that time is now. So put all my marbles in one jar and uh, give it my best effort. So I'm excited to have a full fall, full year, kind of get my legs underneath me and, um, you know, give it my all. So yeah. I'm excited. So, and you mentioned that, that this is – the first collegiate season that you'll have for baseball where you know you don't also have to worry about preparing for football and having these games for football how do you think do you think that'll help you I guess be be more prepared for the season or not necessarily not necessarily more prepared but just to have that focus yeah absolutely I mean I, I've already started making a list of things I want to work on and you know it's it's kind of crazy because I've never had that opportunity to yeah. do that so um, you know I've always been to the middle of January locked in on football but you know, I got a whole another five, six months to work on that, which is really exciting to me. Um, really, to really excited just to unlock some of the stuff that yeah. you know didn't know I have, and uh, 
just get to work this fall. Yeah, and I imagine being prepared for a football season physically is a little bit different than being prepared for a baseball season. W would that be fair to say? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, I know a bunch of my buddies are reporting from, for camp in three days, and, uh, you know, they're going to have a great year. I'm excited yeah. to go watch them. But, uh, but yeah, excited to just kind of work on my craft as a baseball player, and, um, you know, it's going to be a great fall yeah. at Clemson. Yeah, and then I guess one final question back to the Harbor Hawks. You've, I don't know if you know this, but you've kind of developed a little bit of a nickname, Whale Taylor. One of our broadcasters accidentally called you Whale on a broadcast. I don't know if you've heard the whale calls and stuff like that. What What are your thoughts on it? Yeah, honestly, <laughs> I didn't even know that till last night, honestly. But uh, I was wondering what the whale call was every time I stepped in the box. Um, <laughs> but I didn't know they, they did that just for me. But, you know, I kind of like it. And yeah. uh, hopefully we'll be hearing a lot of that uh, in the playoffs. Yeah, hopefully for a long time. Thank you so much for coming on the podcast. This is Will Taylor. I'm Josh Schreiber. Thank you for watching the Early Bird Pod.